hello guys how are you uh, in this video we will talking about the tomato uh, disease so we are targeting three disease alerts uh, going to the three disease names tomato early delight tomato late delight tomato healthy uh, actually we are targeting of the leaf tomato leaf so we are going to the kegel we are getting data from here so now we actually we are targeting only three at at classes yeah uh, i am uploading already uploading my uh, google drive i am using now currently using google colab google colab is the open platform uh for for gpu bash tpu bash so you can change the runtime we are using the gpu as save here uh we are going to the three directories so three folders number 1 so you can see the data oh it's to tomato early delight okay now going to healthy you can see the healthy images oh pretty good now we going to the uh, tomato led delight okay you can see the data of the tomato delight uh now we going to the colab uh i am already connected my the colab system so running the google drive command uh, it, this command access of the drive i am connecting my google drive so here you are gpu connected uh, google account connect i am connecting important all dependency i am mentioning all dependency so now running the dependency file it's okay here my uh, folder name so i am using uh, drive my drive uh, colab notebook so here the i am already mentioned my folder directory plant village so you can see okay now running image size 256 so ecosystem we iteration of the 50 so here is the batches of the 32 uh, i'm al explain downward so i scroll down export the data sets functions now training data set to using uh, validations so testing for the data sets against the training models so using the uh, image size iterations we are uh, now we are running the uh, tensorflow data sets create uh, libraries just like a uh, scroll up here the kiria up models layers so here is the directory found classes of the three and total images of the 45 110 okay i am mentioning three class if you you can use four classes 
here they put the 4 the name is of the classes this folder name here they mention ok now I scroll down display some samples ok just wait for some samples load can recognize from loaded uh, uh, data sets which we train from from there okay it's taking some time So uh, here is the results. So you can see tomato healthy, tomato layer, delight. Okay. Here is our the batches size 32, 52, 56, 253. So here the cache shuffle model arguments. So model structure. Now we going to the model summary. You can see it. Uh, I'm going to the scroll down trend the uh, some uh, our data uh, three folders I do not know how much taking time so we are waiting for the 150 arbitrations uh, here is the data loss and accuracy I think do not taking much time uh, here is the accuracy first of 2.0.4 then 0 0.7 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.78 I think 0 0.9 so 0 0.84 now point number six Zero point eight six. Okay, it's good. We can see losses. Actually, we cannot see the losses. Okay, we can see losses. Zero point seven five. Okay. Okay, I'm taking some time. Uh, I think uh, taking much time we are going downward so running the plot T uh, accuracy so here the plot T so ranges batches and losses and, uh, we are also the most important saving the model you you can train your model your own custom model uh, so you can save it 
and running uh, machine learning apis so much I'm running also this function of illustration okay plotting inference i am already uh, run this algorithm you can see the model accuracy Seventy percent. Okay. Uh, it's taking time. Here you can see the 98.3% accuracy losses 0.04 and uh, data losses 0.18 and uh, validity losses accuracy 0.393. Okay, I am printing the accuracy test accuracy 95%. Okay, so I am scroll down. You can see the graph train data and accuracy. Uh, blue line is the data losses, validation losses, orange line. So you can see the iteration. Uh, save the model. We are saving. Uh, I can show you how to save. Uh, here is our results finally. Zoom from here. Okay. Hundred percent late. Okay, confidence. Oh. Uh, now uh, we are checking the model. Here. Here is our model. You can see it. So here is our project, finally, potato disease classification. I hope you like it. Uh, please support our channel. See you next video.